going back in here where I was at the other day when I got on them turkeys. He just come in. He was out there pretty good ways. I wasn't worried. I know I could have killed him if it would have been more open. Uh, but I was just having to go back and forth between the camera and the gun. Camera could see him. I couldn't. Uh, it's just one of them deals right there. He was he was too far out in the woods and it was just back and forth between the camera seeing him and then me seeing him. Couldn't get both of them. Both me and the camera on him at the same time. So it's just how it ended up. But I'm going in a little different way this morning. Um, going to the end of this road here and I should be I should be able to get to them anyway uh, that they are today uh, I know we got this lake if they're on the other side of the lake I can get to it a lot easier than where I was at the other day um, or if they're on this side or if this other one's up this bottom like he was the other day I can get to them all pretty easy and I'm actually going to be a lot closer to them uh, from where I'm going to be starting at in here this morning. So, if they're in here, we're going to get on quick. Hopefully make it happen quick. This is the first day that we've had of good weather um, so far. Yesterday it finally warmed up about 70. This morning it's in the mid-60s. It's supposed to get up to 80 today. Warmest weather we've had so far this year. So, Hopefully they get the goblin pretty clear, no wind, perfect morning for them to gobble. Hopefully they light it up this morning and it's getting about that time of year that they really do. Usually in the March, 1st April, usually first week of April is the best, but with this weather right here they may start, start cranking here pretty good in the next few days, so we're going to get in here and let it get light. And, Hopefully they start gobbling and we get in there and get on them pretty quick. Alright. Got here, been sitting here just a few minutes. Still really early. And, uh, there was a bulldozer cranked up back over here pretty good ways. This turkey here, this is the one I was on the other day, he started gobbling. He's pretty, pretty good ways from me. Goblin early. That, that one's goblin, so that's the one I'm fixing to take off go to just because it's early. Hopefully I can get in there on it pretty quick, get pretty close. And uh, make it happen fast. Great and slept down. 
Well, that'll do. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Get that off. First one, baby. He made me work for him. Let's go get him. Wonder where my hoe went. Probably off down the bank. Yeah, baby. First turkey. 23. I have been working for this turkey right here. This is the this is the second time hunting this one. Oh, come on. He just flopped in the creek. Dang it. This is uh this is the second time in here on him. And he was playing hard to get. He stood behind a dead gum behind a dead gum tree forever yep he's in the creek dang it oh well that's all right flop down to the creek baby he stood behind a tree forever and i could not get get him on camera at all and then he started walking off and I called just a little bit. He started walking off. And I finally just picked a hole out. He's about 50 yards. I'll go range it just to see for sure, but he's about 50 yards. And, uh, got him. Whacked him. <sighs> Gotta get up this bank. Nice little two year old. Stay up there. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, Shanks. Bingo. Let's see. Here's feathers. Here's feathers. He's going to be about right here. And I was. I was. Where was that? That tree, maybe? How far is that tree? 45. I'm not sure that's the tree I was next to, but anyway, he was, he was right at 50, and it got him. Whew. Heck yeah, baby. First one of 23. Man. Good little old beard on him. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Man, it's been a... See, this is day eight of the season. And, uh, man, we've just had terrible weather here in, in the northern part of Mississippi. It's been cold. It's been raining. Yesterday it warmed up. Today it's, you know, starting off really warm. It's in the 60s. A couple of days ago it was in the 40s for the highs and then 20s for the low, and the turkeys just wasn't doing much. But I actually did get on him one of those days that it was super cold. And uh, just right down this same hollow, I think he was actually right in here roosted that day. And when he flew down, he went up the hollow that direction. And uh, so this morning, that's why I wanted to circle around and get in front of him in case he went that way. And I was down here in the creek. I'd slipped down, got in the creek and come up here and he was roosted in one of these trees right here. And I was walking and he gobbled and I, I got closer than what I thought I was or, or what I wanted to be, let me put it that way. And uh, I was like, dang, I like I just need to hold up right quick. And I sat there and watched him. I seen him fly out. I just caught a glimpse of him fly down. And I just crawled up the bank, got right there, got, as soon as I crawled up there, he gobbled right up here somewhere. And then he gobbled again, he was closer. I was like, oh, he's coming. By the time I looked, he was coming right up his bottom. And he got right to a point, he just stopped. He stood there and strutted and strutted. And I'm talking about, he was out of the camera that much. And I could not see him in the camera. I could see him fine, but the camera was just, it was too far to the, too far to the right and he stood there and he gobbled several times he just strut look around strut look around he'd gobble every once in a while and then all of a sudden he turned and started walking right back this way i was like that's that's that ain't good so i just started soft calling a little bit and he kind of blew up strutted a little bit looked around stood there and strutted and then he just started walking again i was like Phew. i'm fixing to make a move and i kind of moved the camera over a little bit where i could where i could see he got out, he got and walked and stood right in a hole where I could see him, perfect. And he was facing away, I yelped, and he stopped and looked. 
and I had a vine. I'm pretty sure it's that vine right there. Could not see his head. And he kind of looked and he'd strut, look, strut. And finally he turned sideways. And when he did, I could see his head and I got that red dot on him. I had it too bright to begin with. I had to dim it down a little bit. And uh, I could see him right there, seeing that head pull the trigger. And there he is. Look at that. Wet, sandy, muddy turkey. Pretty turkey. It's just getting started here. Around here anyway. It's just just getting going. This weather this week's gonna I feel like it's gonna put them on a put them on a roll, but man. You know, nice little beard on him. Like I say, good little half inch spurs. Hey. Spurs don't mean nothing. Can't eat them spurs. He's a big old heavy turkey too. Big old he probably 18, 19. 19 you get a turkey over about 20 around here that's some gun is a tank you know what what time it is right now 7 36 all right i just made it up here where it started off this morning he's chilling he just didn't know he was gambling probably half maybe three quarters of a mile that way he just didn't know that he was going to be leaving this hall this morning. Just uh, not the way he was probably wanting to. But, uh, yeah, started off right here on this stump this morning. You know, this is a place I grew up hunting for. I was probably coming over here when I was two, three year old. Uh, so I've, I've hunted this place for years. This is a hunting club. Like I say it's a dog hunting club. I don't really deer hunt it, but, uh, I turkey hunt it a pretty good bit and uh i've just i've learned it over the years i always like coming over and, and trying to kill at least one a year over here um now i'm probably going to try to focus maybe killing one on public somewhere around here but uh you know i may venture back over here actually i ain't heard as many turkeys over here as i usually do but i still know where there's a few at it was a pretty good morning a good way to start the year um, like I say, kind of wish the footage would have been a little bit better. Wish I'd have got him standing there strutting and gobbling so much. But, um, uh, you know, it is what it is when you're self-filming and you ain't got the perfect setup. Um, sometimes you just don't get to get the best of things. But, creeks, ditches, if y'all watch my Kansas show, uh, that I put out earlier this year. A ditch, get in it, you're out of sight this morning. Got in a ditch. I was out of sight. Slipped up there. Got close. Slipped up on the bank. I was trying to find a tree that was like right on the edge of the bank, but I couldn't find one that was just on the drop off of the bank there. Because um, I was wanting to get next to it and kind of set, have a little bit of back cover, but I just had to sit on the edge of the bank and wide open. Um, so, you know, like I say, I love creeks and ditches to get in and slip because turkeys, their eyesight is their number one. And number one defense and uh, you got to keep out of that eyesight be sure to like subscribe to the video uh, if you're not if you're not a subscriber please comment we love hearing feedback from y'all um, and just just you know drop some comments down there how y'all seasons going if you've killed one if you missed one if you've boogered some up you know I've done that this will be the third turkey I've got on um, being him been on him twice I got on another turkey a few days ago, boogered him up. Uh, so that's going to happen when turkey hunting, so don't be ashamed of it. But we appreciate y'all watching, and uh, we got plenty more to come. I hope that uh, we start killing, and we got plenty more to come for y'all. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll see y'all next time.